Hey guys, Professor Fatshady from the University of Trials. Uh, today I want to check out uh, Pipe Phobia 2. Now, on my first playthrough of the Fault 1-0 DLC, I actually got this challenge on my first attempt and really didn't give it much thought. Um, I have had requests from the lovely person called Phil Lander. I'm trying to remember people's names when I uh, <laughs> take these down. Um, but anyway, so Phil has asked me to have a look at Pipe Verbia 2. Effectively, I have to complete a zero fault run without touching any pipes with your front wheel. Um, it's fu funnily enough, I got this first time. Now, I'm going to go Pit Viper. Um, I tend to find, like, a pipe phobia was easier on the roach. No, yes, roach. I think roach. Um, certainly the uh, hard wheeling one was, but um, anyway, let's just go through this. Now, as far as tutorials go, um, I don't even remember this track. Oh, yes, I do remember this track now. Platinum runs. Alright, so, I mean, first and foremost, make sure you can zero fault consistently. Actually, let me just check. Is there a sound? Now that's going to make it tricky. Um, I, having some form of feedback would make this much better. Doesn't look like it exists, so let's break them down. Now, as I always say, break it down into the separate components, identify where the tricky parts are, practice, 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 succeed. First one, uh, I'm going to sit here on my back wheel, try and land on that just really confidently. Up and over. That's fine. Whoa. Can I drop down here? Yes, okay, so that's going to be crucial, and normally I would sort of try and hit that. Um, in this one now... Okay, so again, that was just, um, you know, bouncing on your back wheel, but the key the key thing here is just take it, take it slowly. I mean, I don't remember this track, so... Or at least, sorry, it's a different... The main thing I guess I'm trying to point out here is the different driving lines how you would normally approach it. So when I say I don't remember it, that's not true. I remember the track from a speed running line perspective, but you don't want to take that line. That line is irrelevant for this challenge. What you want to do is break it down into the separate components and attack them one at a time and really just think, focus on what driving line makes you most consistent over the pipes. Next one, same thing. So I'm just going to stay seated over the bike. I'm going to try and hit that uh, upward slope on a pretty, uh, pretty hard with my rear wheel and try and bounce all the way over. Again just about the technique and remember because I've got to go zero fault here too I need to be careful nothing here to worry about nothing here to worry about uh, be confident now what's happening down here is there a pipe down here I'm nervous I think there is yes ah so see there that was handy I um by dropping down here, I avoided landing on the pipe, which is great. Now, what I want to do here is actually get my front wheel up to vo avoid that little bit. I want to hit hard with my rear wheel on that upward slope, and then I kind of want to see if I can make it all the way down. Ah, so there's your problem. Okay. So it's just slower there. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, actually, yeah, let's just do the red. Okay, so that is going to be a challenge. That is going to be where the tricky part is. So here, just ride with your front wheel up, no problems. Uh, I don't think that's considered to be a pipe, and that's up and over. So, okay, there was that one there. Wow, okay, so I don't know how I fluked that first time around. It's that awesome, I think. Let's try again. So now, I can try to churn through most of this, right? <laughs> Except for the fault. Okay. Okay, slower here. Rear wheel, brake. Actually, that I can drop straight down, no problem. Getting cocky, getting cocky. So crucially, fall down here. Now this one just seemed to be a bit, just go slow, yeah. Big bounce. Wow. Okay, um, Phil, do that. <laughs> just be an awesome rider. Problem solved, right? <laughs> Chuck us a VB. I swear, that is still one of my favorite gamer tags of all time. Um, what do I do? Let's go and revisit that. I mean, that was four minutes, so we got time. We got time. Phil needs me. Oh, 
zero fault. Actually, yeah. So now, you know what? Zero fault no longer matters. I've, I've got the challenge. You've seen me do that. Now, it's about, really, from what I can see, one checkpoint that is really tricky. But I think even there, there's a couple of good tips there about just being able to do, break it down into the separate parts. Like, this one's tough. You need to be able to sort of do, be good on your rear wheel. That one's pretty easy. He says as he vaults on it, but... Alright, so it's really... I think it's it's this this combination. So... Actually, so yeah, I think the way I'm... I think, okay, let's let's go through this again. 40-50% um, throttle maximum. Lift your front wheel up confidently. But look at that. Actually, it's slower there. I think I did it the hard way. And that's it. And then from here... I'm, I mean, here you want to... So what you want to do here is lift your front wheel up on this slope here, push forward, and that's enough to get you up and over. So let's try it one more time. One more time for Phil. Just, just pretend I haven't got this already. But crucially, find the parts where you can make mistakes. Find the parts that are easy, find the parts you need to be slow and careful on. And then importantly, just flop on over this one. Tiny little flick there and just ride to that point. Really take your time to land on this section. You've got plenty of space. Lift the front wheel up and it's just that, yeah. And that's it. Phil, Pipe Phobia 2. Way easier than Pipe Phobia 1. Um, I did like Pipe Phobia, I'm a, I'm a sucker for the brutal stuff, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I, one of the videos I think I put out, probably would have put out recently was the Inferno 4 Ninja 1, um, I don't like punishing myself that much, but things like Pipe Phobia, good, good level of ridiculously hard, but still achievable. Anyway, Phil, hopefully you found that helpful for anyone else that uh, also needed that guide, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching, all the normal jazz, and uh, yeah, keep uh, making suggestions and I'll keep making videos. Cheers, thanks.